So for under 14s this year, we had 10 really keen young girls come along. Um, I'm going to say a little bit about each one of them. Abby was one of our pocket rockets. She was a great feeder into the goal ring and very fast on her feet and always put in 110% for me. Carly Moon, I've never seen such determination and such a great netball brain in a girl so young. She doesn't stop, she just keeps going and she's a fabulous team player. Ali Reid, adaptable, played at either end of the court, excellent in any position. We threw her in at goalkeeper in one of our last games and she absolutely starred. Dolly, our captain, dependable, adaptable, fantastic trainer, always ask questions, really coachable and a lovely kid. Georgie Easton, always had the game face on, off the court, all smiles, put her on the court, that game face and determination came to the fore. Lacey, Lacey um, was a great blocker. I taught her how to block her players out and by the end of the year she was doing that really successfully. She often pestered me to play centre but only at practice, at training against the under 12s. Maddie is fantastic at both ends of the court. She's very athletic and very accurate at shooting. I once said to her, uh, Maddie, um, you must have been practicing your goals. And she said, oh, I don't practice. Summer, our one-handed shooter. She started in shooting at the start of the year, but I could not get her to put two hands on that ball. So we switched her to defence and she was absolutely brilliant. Um, rebounded everything and very determined through the midcourt. Tia had the long arms um, and very strong through the midcourt. You would think a ball would be well past her and then Tia would put out one of those long arms and get many taps and intercepts for us. Zoe was at consistent in any position. She played in shooter and defence, and she had a really good year, um, even though she missed a few games. So I had a very versatile team. They were great trainers. We had big improvement from the start when we um, were finding our feet. We won our last three games, and our very last game against Naya was 50 to 18. That just shows the improvement in these kids. They're going to be a big force next year and we definitely would have made the finals if we'd had a full season. Our round one versus Kundruk Barra, one vote Abigail Gray, two votes Maddie Black, three votes Charlie Moon. Round two versus Kerrang, one vote Georgie Easton, two votes Abby Gray, three votes Charlie Moon. Round three versus Warrenine, one vote Maddie Black, two votes Georgie Easton, three votes Abby Gray. Round four versus Mallee Eagles, one Summer Turner, two votes Jolie Mavis, three votes Maddie Black. Round five versus Tintinda, one vote Ali Reed, two votes Jolie Mavis, three votes Charlie Moon. Round six versus Tooley Buck Manang. One vote Summer Turner, two votes Ali Reed, three votes Dolly Mavers. So our leaderboard after round six, we've got Summer on two votes, Ali on three, Georgie on th three as well, Maddie and Abby both on six, Jolly on seven, and Charlie Moon leading on nine. Round 13 versus Kerrang, one vote Jolie Mavers, two votes Maddie Black, three votes Georgie Easton.
round 10 versus Bell Ranald, one vote Georgie Easton, two votes Maddie Black, three votes Charlie Moon. Round 11 versus Swan Hill, one vote Jolie Mathers, two votes Maddie Black, three votes Charlie Moon. Round 8 versus Lake Boga, one vote Charlie Moon, two votes Jolie Mathers, three votes Summer Turner. Round 14 versus Warrenoon, one vote Georgie Easton, two votes Maddie Black, three votes Charlie Moon. Last round against Nia, which we won 50 to 18. One vote Georgie Easton, two votes Charlie Moon, three votes Maddie Black. So our final leaderboard, we have Ali Reid on three votes, Summer Turner on five, Abigail Gray on six, Georgie Easton nine, Jolie Mathers 11, our runner-up Maddie Black on 17, and our best and fairest Charlie Moon on 21. Congratulations, Charlie. You're extremely coachable. You've got the netball sparks, you're fit, athletic, and a great trainer and a lovely team member. This award is really well deserved because you put in a great effort for the total year and I'm really happy to have coached you and I hope you do really well in the future and I just know that you're going to be a force to reckon with. Congratulations, Maddie. You were so athletic and I put you in lots of different positions and you excelled in all of them. You can shoot but don't practice. Imagine how great you'd be if you did practice. You slotted into goal attack at the end of the season when we were just looking for that something extra and it proved with our last three wins. You did a fantastic job and I'm really proud to have coached you. I thought about my coach's award and I was looking for someone who's a great team member, asked me lots of questions, was an excellent trainer and just totally loves her netball and that goes to our Captain Courageous Jolie. Jolie, you had a fantastic year. I love the way that you would come to me and ask me things. I think that makes you a really great player and I'm sure you've got a fantastically bright future in front of you. Congratulations. Uh, just a few thank yous for the season. I'd like to thank Karen and Lisa for standing in for me during round four when I had a family commitment. Thanks for coaching that day, girls. Um, I'd like to th thank all the parents for their scoring and timing during the year. The umpires, we couldn't have games without you. The club and Gab for all her hard work, um, the award donors, and last of all, Kim Lister for the amazing photos that she took of the girls during the year. Thanks, everybody.